Hey folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Factorial. We are going to get... What What is this? Oh, it's because I only had seven. Yeah, 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 and I got confused about some of the pattern. Um, we are going to get our golden science going finally. Um, I mean, actually, when I say finally, I mean finally from the start of the point of the point of view of the start of the game. But actually, we haven't been sort of sitting around here waiting for the golden science all that long. So it's not too shabby. I'm going to replace those small posts with that. So the golden science takes 14 seconds per cycle and gives you two. It's exactly the same as the purple. So we'll just go with seven over here. That's going to be fine. It needs blue circuits, which we can totally just steal there. It doesn't need large numbers of anything, right? Oh, it does need a bunch of copper cables. It needs 30 every 14 seconds, which is basically two per second, which is basically the normal rate of production. The only thing that's going to be kind of annoying is getting this stuff belted. Because I'm betting if we need... Well, that again, that only means we need to pick up two per second. Probably one side of a belt is actually going to be enough. Let's... We'll find out. We'll, we'll run... We'll, we'll see how it goes. I think one side of the belt is going to be enough, especially since we only have seven of these stations. Right? So let's say we do this. I do this, this, that. And then uh, I need to make sure to do that. And then here I say, bam, bam. Okay, so we're going to get blues on one side of this. And on the other side, we're going to get copper wire. Oops. Which I'm just going to do... Um, I really only need one of these stations, right? Cause, oh, this actually makes four per second. So, yeah, I do only need one of these stations. I guess we're going to need two blues to export in time. Right? Because every half second it produces two. And we need some copper plates in there. It's going to be a little spaghetti, but not, not that badly. Uh, we're going to have a hot line here for copper plates. We're going to have another one for batteries. And what's the other thing we need for yellow? Oh, speed modules. Yeah, which we'll figure out after. Uh, let me leave a two gap, actually. That's going to be better. So, copper plates get up on here. Like that. Ugh. That's fine. We'll go here to there. And then do this. Okay. Uh, no, we do need one more of that. And then you go there, 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 there. And grab you. Copper plate's going. And I want batteries just above that, if I can. So let's see. We want to cut off the batteries there. And we need to curl away and then over this way so that we can get under. To here. And yeah, I'll then just bring you down. To there. Copper. So yeah, the question mark is just, are we going to be able to fit enough um, copper wire on this to provide, you know, full saturation? Well, I guess so, because apparently this is what happens when you put four on per second. And I guess with the stacking bonus, we don't actually need two, now that I think about it. Now, we're definitely going to need the blue grabbers so that we can grab the copper quickly enough. I mean, it's going to grab a lot for the first go, but then I think it'll be okay. And apparently we could just double up on our, our factories. So, we'll, we'll, we'll check, see what the status is afterwards. So, we've got that, and then for our batteries... Not 
batteries and we need speed modules. Now, what do we actually need to make speed modules? Just green and red. I think we just make them in place. How many do we need? We need one every 14 seconds. Sorry. Uh, one every second, 14 seconds per, but we've got seven of these. I think I might be effing up some of the math somewhere along the way, which means we need one every other second. Right? Because if we had 14 of these stations, we need one per second, but we only uh, have half that much. So we only need one every two seconds. Now, it does take a while to produce these. It's 15 seconds. So if we had seven, let's call it eight of these speed module creators, oops, we'd be okay. And you know what? Yeah, we will just um, make them in, in place here. So we'll go with eight. I'm probably screwing up the math, but uh, I don't think so. Do you need like a ridiculous amount of both? You need a fair amount, although you do grab, uh, you don't need, um, you, you take a long time to work. So I suspect one belt split between red and green is actually going to be enough. I always get the doo-doos in my head when I put these down. So, we're going to get you to here. Uh, we're going to want the red on the bottom. And we need the green on the top. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter which side they are, but, you know. You know what I'm saying. With my incomplete sentences. It's okay, it's not like my job is like to talk and communicate. Fine. Bam, bam, bam. Excellent. Boom. And boom. And boom. And boom. You're going to go all the way up through here. And then you can just unload with yellows. Because you're slow. And then we'll get... Is that actually too far away? This has to go there and there. And, you know. Boom. Okay. Alright, you guys are being built up. And yeah, the throughput here is perfectly fine. And you've got that, and you've got that. Now, there's, of course, going to be a backlog. Okay, let me recheck my math here. Each one of these needs 30 for 14 seconds. So again... If I had 14 of them, I would need 30%. Oh, wait, yeah, I did screw that up. I screwed it up royally. If I had 14 of these, I would need 30 cables every second. I only have that much, so I need 15 cables every second. This produces 4 cables per second. So I need... That's 8, 12, 16. There we go. I knew I, knew I was screwing something up. And I guess if it turns out that half of a red belt is insufficient to carry all this, then we will simply upgrade this one to blue. Bring you down to here. You bring me down. There, and there, and stick you in there and oops apparently you don't have power over here excellent you are now producing golden science and so far we are good on the copper cable now we are waiting for other goods to be able to balance all that out we're gonna have to sort of wait a little bit although we're starting to get more and more backlog which is good and yeah I think I have my, my copper cable math I think we're producing 16 every second, and we need 15 every second, so that's going to be really great. Are we not getting any more blues? Oh, um, that is... No, that's fine. What I'm going to do here is... Because the train's probably sitting around, and it's got a bunch of... Um, just not full yet. I'm going to do that. I'm going to take a look over here, make sure that everything is actually producing. And no, we're not producing any red, because we don't have any plastic. So that is going to be the bottleneck. So they're going to come in in chunks. Um, 
the, the red's gonna the plastic keeps coming in, in chunks which means the red keeps coming in in chunks and that's going to be the bottleneck for our blue although we don't need that much red for it luckily but yeah the next thing wow yeah that's not a lot of blue um the next thing will definitely be to fix our plastic <sighs> which probably means what i should do is actually just build a bunch more oil refineries Let's ask for some stone brick, uh, some steel. I can just get rid of this stuff later on. It's gonna be fine. Um, make sure I'm, I've still got iron. I mean, I've got some as is, but you know, just do that. And uh, we'll pick up some green circuits manually. So there you go. You're full of blues. The red and the green here is good. Although again, the red might develop a shortage later on. Um. We're taking a lot of uh, copper, but again, that's going to that's gonna happen. It's going to, every time it produces one, then all of a sudden it's going to be like, I have to pick up 30 now, and then a lot of times there'll be a backlog here, which actually might be, we might actually want to buffer that with some sort of chest. Although grabbing things with speed might be a problem. No, it's going to be okay, because it doesn't need a buffer, because it's got an internal buffer of like twice as much as you think you need. So that's going to be okay. All right. Yeah, let me just grab a bunch of green circuits here. Like, I don't feel like it's worth um, having automated production of oil refineries because you don't build that many. It's two. Right, we're going to build some. Some is how many we're building. And I put, uh, right, productivity modules over there, which I think is an excellent idea. And actually, um... Right, I can't productivity module these things. I could speed module them. I don't think that's going to be required, because we, we put in enough production. That's going to be okay. That's not the question. Yeah, the productivity, that way we get one free science beaker every now and again, which cuts down how many raw resources we need. And they're pretty resource intensive. Looks like the cabling is going to be okay. I think we're good on that. Um, to the point where I'm... Oh! What we're not good on... Is... How we get this stuff to the front. Because it's only using one side of this, which I do not want. Um, we're going to have to separate it from the blue. And, yeah, that'll be okay. So, the old line is only going to have blues. This new line is going to have the gold and the purple. Although, obviously, there's going to be a little cross pollution there, but I think it's going to be okay. We can clean it up at the end if we need to. Can I get past this tree? Nope. The tree's got to go. Because somewhere along here, we end up with the weapon. Right over there. And we end up with this sort of mess. So, what I want to do is make sure that the blues are only on the one side, and then this one can come in like this. There we go. So now we get two lines. We got the gray and the blue, and we got the gold and the purple. So yeah, this got a little bit mucked up, but what I can do is just make sure to pick this up, just in case there's any sort of weirdness. Man, we actually produced a fair amount of this stuff. Uh, how many oil refineries do I have? I need five more. Perfect. Excellent. And... Actually, the purple's on the right side of where we want to go. That's good. Anyway, just dump all the purple. Dump the gold. I should have spread it out a little bit more, but nah, it's okay. It doesn't make much of a difference. So we should be good. Because, yeah, the purple is still coming in on the same side as it was before. If there's any confusion, what I can do is just grab a bunch more purples here. And then dump them all into, say, there. That's going to be okay. And then we'll clearly see what's going on. We've got no funky backlog. Over here, we've got the blue on one side, the gray on the other. Yeah, we're 100% golden. I may as well finish the neutral... Uh, well, let's say nuclear fuel processing. Do I, though? Or do I want to go and very quickly unlock the logistics network? Which, A, is quite fast research, actually. And would actually help us out tremendously. 
because again, I'm worried about our the fact that our um, our logistics network has a whole bunch of crap in there just sitting in uh, storage chests that aren't getting used for anything, and that we could you know distribute out somewhere because it's a bunch of stuff we've we've crafted or whatever that's just not being used for anything anymore, and that's you know that's kind of unpleasant. So while that's researching, I'm gonna go and dump the oil refineries down here. Um, I guess I no longer have to ask for the brick, this or that. That was just to make sure that I have enough to craft whatever the heck. Um, I'm going to change my undergrounds and actually go back to requesting 100 of these. Because that'll be handy. Let's go down to where we smelt stuff. Man, I need more... It's going to stress the hell out of my uh, construction network. Max stone. Some of it I'm holding... This is just the, the total lazy mode of laying this stuff down. But we're going to go ahead and draw ourselves a highway to the danger zone. And by danger zone, well, actually, we are crossing some rails, so there is that aspect of it. But I actually just mean the oil processing. Because we have a backlog on crude. Now, I don't think we can actually support, you know, 20 more refineries. But what the hell, right? If I'm going to plop it down, let's go crazy. We'll just have to figure out somewhere for the layout to go. Okay. So, construction. Yeah. 500 of them we got now. And they were going nuts. Good. So, let's grab with the blueprint this entire thing. Like that. It's going to be great because we'll be able to see exactly where we can place it. I think I'm tempted to just, like, drop it down over here. Maybe a little further over this way. We need to leave a bit of a gap just in case. Um, in terms of cracking, we can we can do lots of stuff. We can extend it upwards. Like, we've got, we've got options for that. So I think if I just say something like this, that's going to be okay. Um, I believe our... Oh, our logistics network actually doesn't cover that. The construction does, but I guess I'll go ahead and leave that other bot station in there. That's going to be fine. And my personal construction bots should go and plop this stuff down. Although, oh yeah, a bunch of them had run out of fuel here. Oh, I made myself my better armor, right? Yeah, right here, power armor. So if I do that... Oh. Uh, I did not realize that the equipment didn't transfer over. That's slightly annoying. Roboport, batteries, this. There we go. Um, I do believe I have the personal Roboport 2 researched. Is that under here? No, I can build a second one. Oh, it's right here. It needed golden tech. Yeah, 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 yeah. Need five personal roboports and a bunch of blue. Now, I don't think we ever produced those in bulk. Um, I was going to say I can put in a request for blue, but at no point does it actually get added to our logistics network. And to build personal roboports, what else do I need? Alright, let's put in a request once again for some iron. I'll probably have to ask for the steel and the batteries and sometimes too. Uh, let's ignore the modules over here. Um, iron, steel, and what? Oh, and batteries. Just to make sure we've got those means. So yeah, we'll just go ahead and do that. I only need to be able to four more because I've already got one. There you go. So you guys are going to come over here because only my personal bots have these things. It is night and they're out of juice. So my poor construction bots over here working like crazy. But that's okay. Our actual power should be good because we have a lot of accumulators now, which is lovely. I mean, it's night. Obviously, the solar panels aren't producing. Once day kicks in, it'll be really interesting to see exactly how much juice they've got. I suspect that we still have to run our, our steam engines, like, more or less at full pin. They might be able to, like, throttle themselves down a bit during the day, once the accumulators are actually charged up, which is happening very, very soon here. They're charged up, so as the solar panels go up, the steam engines should be able to scale down. There it is. There, they're scaling down. So that means use less and less and less coal with the solar power. It'd be nice if during the day, I mean, ideally, the thing with the ratio that we've got in our blueprint is that it's the correct ratio for the amount of power used during the day and the night, assuming it's constant, you'll produce just enough solar power to fuel everything during the day and fill up your batteries, 
and then the batteries get used overnight, and it's just enough that the batteries just, just get drained at the end, and that is that. Um, I guess I'll get the personal world report, too, because I'm working on it, although part of me kind of wants to get the speed. That is a long, long, long time, though. Let's just do the personal world report. But yeah, the little speed things would be handy with these guys. So keep going out, get everything done. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and put this RoboPort here because right now we are actually outside of the logistics zone, and now I will be, so things should still get delivered onto me. There's going to be a bit of a blank there in terms of the logistics zones, but that's that's fine. As long as things are linked, and then you've got the construction bots, that's going to be good enough. Um, I guess I'll keep the guns in here. What the heck, right? That's fine. So, assuming I've got goods on me, and I do... Oh, I have logistics bots on me as well, probably from having moved one of these things. Let's go and dump them in there. What we need to do is get water and crude into here. Crude comes on this bottom part. There's a weird gap over here. Oh, it just looks a little bit funny because of the incomplete stuff. And right, the intake for the crude used to be on the other side. Although, you know, we've got this crude going here. I suppose there's no reason I couldn't just say, hey, let's do this. And that. And that. And that looks lined up. And there. And there. And an angle over there. So now you're getting crude in there. And we just have to wait, make sure we've got water coming in. As far as I know, I think the other side will then get hooked up properly. Uh, so for water... Right there. Something like that. And like that. And like that. So, assuming my personal bots are still around. I did build all the old refineries, right? Didn't I? Oh, you know what I, I did? I built 10, and I need 12, so I need two more of these. Done and done. And then, yeah, I'll need the robo ports over here. And, yeah, I don't think there's any reason to automate them. Oh, I just moved out of the logistics area. Whoopsie. When you see, like, a bunch of bots just suddenly shift away, that's what it is. So, just waiting for these to get done. My personal bots, I'll go and place these guys down. I'll also place the modules in there, which is nice. Well, these are actually shorter. Oh, no, there you go. They get equipped. I think the, the modules are in our logistics network and everything, so someone will go and deliver them eventually. All right. A little pass through here, just in case my personal bots can help out with anything. So, on the other side, we have to make sure that it is also getting the goods that it needs. Water needs to come in here. Oops. Uh, I guess we can do that. And that. And that. Whoops. What, what is this? That was weird. I did not realize that there was a funky pipe thing going on over there. Hopefully we don't accidentally mix these pipes, or horrible, horrible, horrible things will happen. So far, so good? But yeah. Um, oh, and this is supposed to be crude in here. There we go. Everyone pumping away. Good. Now, our outputs come in here. And they all just end up over here. These pipes are... should all be filling. Except you're not filling. Where are you going? Why is this fluctuating up and down? It might just be moving around through this. Yeah, I think it's just fluctuating as it's distributing between all the pipes. Mm -hmm. 
least I certainly hope so.